it's sad to think that there was a time in our history where genre material was considered lowbrow. The way that you could elevate it was by attaching some name talent to it. So when Creepshow came out, the amazing thing about it was there were recognizable names and very talented actors. So that was the exact same thing that we wanted to continue. Now, why don't we start at the beginning? I owe an enormous part of my career to Creepshow. There are people who watch the original Creepshow once a month to this day, and it's 40 years later. And um, to be able to come back to it now, and especially to work with Greg Nicotero, makes it all worthwhile to get old. <laughs> I thought you were gonna get rid of my mold problem for me. I tried. Keeps coming back. When Greg asked me to come down and do this, I was like, all right, uh, it's, it's a new angle on, on, on something that's had a rich history. And then when I found out Adrian was going to be in it, that made it even nicer, and getting to work with Giancarlo is a treat, because his work has been so strong and so on point, and uh, he always brings a lot to every character he creates. What do you think got that boy so scared? I don't know. Well, I think it's going to educate younger people, and they're going to be surprised. And I think young people now are craving something a little more, and they're going to enjoy this show because it's going to allow them to, to, to have their imagination work. I mean, I'm walking around here tonight in a scene with a flashlight that's lighting the whole scene, period, in darkness, in black. That, you know, and I haven't gone to look at the monitor yet, but I'm a director as well. That, to me, is like magic. You know, that feels real. My daddy. When I got the call to be part of Creep Show, I was really thrilled and knowing that Greg Nicotero was behind it is just, I've worked with Greg before, uh, everything from Scream to Ravenous, my favorite, sort of some of my favorite horror films that I've worked on, he's been a part of. Why don't you just shoot me more and get it over with? <laughs> to get a call to, the, to be on Creep Show and uh, with Greg, that was, that was really a thrill. Damn it. I mean, they sort of called out all the big guns for this, and it's, it's a really cool thing to be in the presence of these people. Well, that's noteworthy. Whether or not you're a fan of the genre, which I am, um, to work with people who've been at the top of their game for so long, it's intimidating, but also what a compliment to you that they're like, come play with us. Ah! And I really feel that here. <sighs> I think it's going to be really fun. It's like an homage. It, like there's there's all these little vignettes and and they're putting them together in, into these episodes. And it's not like a copy. We're not replicating it. It's just uh, individual stories that that have a similar feel and a similar vibe to some of what's in Creep Show. Hi. My agents are like, yeah, we got a call. They want you to go to Atlanta to be an episode of Creep Show. Uh, we haven't talked about the money. I was like, I'll pay them whatever they want. <laughs> I guess this is it. All my problems are going to be gone. Hey, you think when this is all... Excuse me. Uh -huh. This is exactly why I got into the line of work I'm in. 100% true. They were like, we're going to get you very, you know, there's a blood cannon. They're going to, I'm in. I'm, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I will find these American dogs responsible for this. Well, they, they will suffer. Of course I was a fan of Creepshow. Who's not? I love the fact that Creepshow is sort of a very dark, horror-tinged, Twilight Zone kind of package. I love that idea. Uh, short little bursts of horror with a twist. If you want our filthy hides, come in here and get them! Good. That is good. We are going in. Deploy smoke grenades!
everybody showed up excited about being a part of Creep Show and ready to work and ready to have fun. And that really invigorated me. And I think that every uh, aspect of that show is on screen. Because there are people that you're around that remind you why you love it. Jeff Combs reminds me of why I love it. Dana reminds me of why I love it. Giancarlo and Tobin, they remind me and they make me better. They make me better, a better artist because they remind me. All right, let's do this. I think Creep Show will be successful with fans who understand the history of the genre and appreciate it. It was originally conceived as a comic book. And that comic book feel is sprinkled throughout the series. You know, many times you know, people want to be scared and, and they make movies that scare you. Um, we have very few things that also make you think. Oh, God! And so I respect that this is happening and that, that you know, I'm a part of this. It's just really cool to be a part of it, work with these guys, just watch them work. That's part of the thrill of being on sets like this. You kiss me! Dog! I'm thrilled to be doing this. This is the first time I've ever played a Nazi, so there's always something new. I've never done most of this stuff. I've never been covered in blood. I've never hacked anything up, like body parts. I've never done any of that. All first. This feels really special. I think for the new audiences, um, they, they can be taken in just by the story. If they don't know the original, they can be taken in by the story, and hopefully their pants scared off of them. Ah! You know, doing a show like Creep Show, uh, again, is the reason that I know that I got into show business, uh, you know, being a horror movie fan and, and wanting to make horror movies that are also funny, because I am hopefully funny. So, you know, getting to make a horror show with your friends, it beats working. I, uh...